Nigeria's Chief of Defense Staff, Christopher Musa, says the activities of Finland-based agitator Simon Ekpa are hampering security efforts in the southeast. He spoke alongside other service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police, Kayadi Ekbetokun, at the kickoff of sectorial debates in the House of Representatives. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa has details. Security is one of the eight focal points of the recently unveiled legislative agenda by the Speaker, 10th House of Representatives, Abbas Tajuddin. <laughs> Service chiefs led by the Chief of Defense Staff, Christopher Musa, with the Inspector General of Police, Kaudi Egbetokun, arrived in the chamber to brief legislators on their activities. The Speaker says the sectoral debate becomes necessary to enhance the nation's security. Over the last few years, we have made significant progress in tackling insecurity through improved investment by the federal government and the gallantry. The security chiefs take time to intimate lawmakers of their activities while they seek parliament support in all ways possible. The same insurgency is on the decline in the aftermath of counter forces action, just as no Nigerian territories under the control of terrorists. Nigeria, they say, is now a pirate free country but insist budgetary allocations cannot fund security operations. The activities of his self-acclaimed agitator, Simon Ekwa, are also a stumbling block to security efforts in the southeast region. Simon Ekwa has become a menace to this country. Finland is having a free way, encouraging him to do what he's doing. By his utterances and his actions, he's affecting what is happening in Nigeria. Our strategy as an army is the deployment of forces in each of the six geopolitical zones to conduct operations to combat the security threats. There is no Navy that can function without adequate resources. We are doing our best within the available resources, but we continue to seek your intervention and your support. Estimative intelligence demanded greater unity of ongoing kinetic efforts towards containing the activities of the separatist groups. The manpower in the police today is grossly inadequate. Even the criminals know that. Inadequate funding, lack of requisite training, shortage of manpower, logistics and accommodation are some of the challenges they identified. The security chiefs want education and sensitization programs for the people as they advocate public support in the fight against insecurity. They want citizens to see security as everyone's business and not the exclusive preserve of security agents. Jokia Adisa, TVC News. Abuja.